Kamal, welcome. How are you uh, in the uh, in the lovely hot UK? <laughs> I'm uh, struggling. I'm not. I don't like hot weather. I'd rather be in the cold. I'll be real. You can get if you're cold. You can make yourself hot. If you're hot, you can only pray. This lockdown has been interesting in a mirage of ways, good and bad. Uh, some moments I'm drawn to this has been the worst period of my life, mainly because I'm a free spirit and throughout my whole life, the reason how I've got where what I've got and where I am is because I've done what I want when I want. So the inability to do that is obviously going to rile a free spirit. But on the complete flip side, I would be inclined to say it's the best period of my life. Despite you sitting down and saying that you're strong-minded or you're motivated or you're disciplined, this is a real test of your, your natural inclinations, I'd say. Lockdown as a whole when in its entirety has been, a, has been a definite journey. Being irritated about not being where I want to be and just not appreciating the blessings that I have of being able to spend time with my family in this time. I feel like I can't move forward, but then I'm not realising that because of this period, I can do other things that I can focus on. Get to Espanol, learn a bit of Spanish. Would I do it again? Maybe. <laughs> um, plus, I look like a werewolf right now and I'm not really feeling, because I'm usually a 10 out of 10, now I'm more looking like a 9, 9.5, you know. Where did the acting journey start for you? Uh, I'm going <laughs> to... So I'm going to say something which I hate when people say, I fell into it. Because it's like, no, you didn't. Don't lie for it. Don't, just don't, don't do that yet. But I went to an opening casting call. Uh, there was a modelling show at the O2. And it's then where I drew the connection between this being a tangible thing I could do. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I used to watch... Doctor Who and rehearse lines. And I honestly wish I could sit here and be like, from a child, I was learning accents and I was in plays and theatres because I do sometimes think I'm an imposter. But I wasn't like that. I did fall into it. For an um, amalgamation of grit, hard work, tears, hard work, grit, tears and hard work, I literally managed to get to a situation where uh, I get paid for what I love. And I did social media quite successfully. But then I stopped social media because I was in a lucky position, a privileged position that acting was paying my bills. And then, yeah, here I am, man. I'm in, a, I'm in a situation where sometimes I just look at myself and I'm like, how did I get here? But to the same token, like, honestly, mate, I am way too hard on myself. And I'm not going to stop. Everything else is a constant. I can choose to spend time with friends. I can choose to spend time with family. I can go to the cinema and go to the pub. But hard work and success based upon your merit and success based upon your work rate, the intellect you can gain from reading and writing and doing all those things, that's not the constant. I'm a strong believer of everything happens for a reason, but I'm also a strong believer of nothing in life is guaranteed. It's only an increased probability. And it's not even I want to, I am doing and will continue to do um, everything in my power to make sure that when I reach the end of the road, I can say I'm proud of the effort and there's nothing more I could have left on the table. Acting nearly took my innocence on many occasions. This is, <laughs> I'm laughing through pain. <laughs> this is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. But there's no cheat codes for this. It needs to be a situation where me and that mirror, I can deliver. And that's something that I've really drove in over the years. Like, I, I fall victim sometimes to criticism, but I also fall victim to praise, which is something I don't think people know is a thing. Because in the same way that criticism can pull you down is the same way that praise can pull you down as well only in a different way and a more complacent and i'd argue a more dangerous way with social media when i was, I was putting in like a half a million a million views a week in my mind i'm like well guess i'm tom cruise i mean like like look at me like I, i'm that guy i'm a star but I wasn't a star, wasn't even close to a star. And because of that complacency, it messes you up. Now, this is the biggest difference between me and other actors. I'm not an actor per se. By that, I mean, I'm always a person first for whatever endeavor I pursue. And because of that attitude, it leads me down different paths. I'm not trained. I've not had a single acting class. I haven't um, done any networking meetings. I've literally see the camera and, and, and let's shoot. But for me, I do, I'm self-developed and I do these things not only because it's part of my innate genetics um, and innate drive and, and natural inclination, but also because this industry will take your soul, mortal combat style if you, do, if you let it. And 
the prospect of rejection is is one thing to logically understand, but to go through nine auditions in a row and fail. Like, am I am I not good looking enough for your shoot? Like, am I not talented enough? What do you, what? Like, how would you, like, what? And it's like, you're not getting any feedback. And it's like, where do you turn to? If you've gone to these things and you're not getting anything from it, okay, cool, you turn to your talent. But I'm talented though, so you're lost. But then it happens three, four times. And I tell everybody that. That's the first question I ask when they ask me, what do I need to know? I say, look, if you're not in this, to, to be the best actor you can be. And if you're not ready to go to an audition and not focus on anything other than you having fun and showing them your unique take and, 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 and seeing every opportunity is an ability for you to show your craft and nothing else, there's almost no hope for you because no one will hold your hand through this journey. And this industry is very much based upon looks, very much based upon skill, very much based upon um, who you know in a perfect triad. Um, and you need to maintain not only a sense of not being bitter, but matched with people don't owe you anything, but matched with, if you are, <laughs> matched with, um, if you work, you, you will get what you deserve, but matched with, even if you do work hard, you may not get what you deserve. Matched with, you will miss out opportunities that you believe are right for you. Matched with, you will get things that you believe you failed at and you have now got. So it's a complete, it's a, it, it's, it's a labyrinth. And I think that any actor, um, is a savage, and I have, and I would never look at the statistics of the industry, but I can only look at other actors and say, and I'm not even going to begin to talk about models, dancers, and singers because that is a whole nother ball game. And even though I consider myself as a part-time model, I would not even play games with myself and go to real modeling casting because I've been to them before. And you look in and you see these boys that are sitting on this seat, and you say, you know what? Forget it. <laughs> There's, no, I want to go home. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. You know, they are beautiful. I can't. This is not fair. This industry is just like, it's just so mad. And I would so understand why other actors say, if you can do anything else, do it. Um, but no, acting is, um, I love it. And I do it because I can't do anything else. But Jesus Christ, Paul, sometimes I'm like, this is just ludicrous. Um, but at the same time, I'm blessed and I'm, I'm happy enough to be being paid for it. And I've been in such unique situations for meeting new people and touring places I've never would have been before. And I've been in situations before where I have to look around and I'm like, why, why me? Um, I'm just the kid that got kicked out of school, man. And honestly, from me to you, I really, um, I'm in awe of um, what you're doing, not only for outside positivity, of course, but actors are very, uh, delicate creatures um yes we're strong yes we can take rejection yes we're we're the masters of all of that but i think it's very very important to not only see uh, a difference of actor types all coming together and talking about their experiences but it's beautiful to know someone's game through what you're going through because i know that i fell victim personally of looking at my situation and like what are other people doing are other people doing this are they working am i am i behind am i ahead so like honestly i thank you for taking that time to 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 give back per se i really appreciate that thank you very much man and um good luck with everything good luck with uh, with the journey and yeah let's talk again <laughs>